We're off to one of Marseille's 30 museums, serving a total of more than 5 million tourists a year. This one's got a damp problem. Hello. Hello. Hi, bonjour. Je m'appelle Jo. Je m'appelle Camille. Je m'appelle Asim. Nice to meet you, French Asim. Name. Asim. Welcome to Marseille and the Underwater Museum. Works of art lurk beneath the waves, but at 14 degrees, we're going to need to take precautions and rubber up. Where do we change? Down here? Blue and white cabins. Just Thank prepare you. yourself. Yes. You might be stunned yeah, by what you see. Yeah. <laughs> I am a, a married man, so just letting you know. All right. <laughs> As the whole of the French Riviera mutters a collective ooh-la-la, -la, we're dressed for some kind of specialist club night and ready for our immersive experience. You look gorgeous. Thank you. I can't see anything. Just before we go swimming, yeah. we will need to spit in our mask, which is quite disgusting. Spit? But yeah. Oh. It's for the... Um, Stop it. Fog. Fog? OK. Should we do each other's? No, Hello? we're not quite there yet. You're not there yet? Okay. 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 Rejected. Your hat. Oh, my hat? I'm sorry for you. Yeah. You look like my mum. Ready? Yeah. Well, let's go swimming. We take like the proverbial ducks and aim for the boy, marking the location where ten exhibits have been submerged. So, uh, we're going to see the first uh, sculpture. Ooh! <laughs> so, mask home. First up, it's the Nereids by Marseille sculptor Evelyn Galinsky, adorned with marine flora and fauna after 18 months in the Med. Woo! They are beautiful. Wow. <laughs> Five little girls that are supposed to hold life and love it. We have something like that, they're called um, little mitts. <laughs> <laughs> The sculptures are made out of recycled marine cement, which I have to say of all the cements has long been my favourite. It has a neutral pH and helps to create an artificial reef that acts as a home for marine wildlife. Woohoo! Nice one! That's a big urchin! Yeah. Uh, it is very fragile, so I think the artist wanted us to know that life is precious and we really have to hold it with uh, tenderness. After a quick gawp at Benoit de Souza's sea monkeys, we're only prevented from visiting the underwater gift shop by a tight schedule and the fact it doesn't exist. Oh! That is wow. stunning. Do you think this will catch on in the UK, Aston? I think so. I'm trying to think of what other things can be underwater. A Greg's? Let's launch it. Camille, you're down? Have you got 30 grand to invest in it? Yeah. I will. Okay, she's in. Okay, she's I'll, in. I'll give Deborah Meadron a ring and we'll be sorted. Thank you.